you've came to the right place. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Rest in Peace to My Big Cat, where I buy a bunch of random shit for my car and I make a video on it. But today you saw the thumbnail and title. We are gonna be going over top 10 G35 mods under $100, more like little cosmetic things, nothing really performance. Well, kind of one thing counts-ish, but we'll get to that in a little bit. As you can tell behind me, my car has white wheels now. Uh, my friend Justin actually let me borrow his white wheels just so I can kind of see what they look like uh, while his car isn't running right now. I'll leave his Instagram right over here in the bottom corner of the screen. Shout out to him. Um, I believe, I don't know what model they are. They're just ESRs. Uh, they're 19 inch and they look cool. That's all I know. <laughs> to start off the list, we have a roof spoiler for the G35. I don't know why it says, I don't know why this is fragile on the box. It's like literally like two pounds. It's made of plastic, so. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, I believe, I'll pop a picture up. It's like $55 on Amazon if you wanna pick one of these up. Uh, it adds a great look, especially if you can see over here, uh, my carbon fiber ducktail. And then I have uh, my sunroof I can crack open a little bit. And then on top of that, the roof spoiler, it's gonna add a bunch of nice little touches to the top of the car. So let's go ahead and open the box and put this bad boy on. It's a little piece of plastic <laughs> with some 3M tape on it. <sighs> they made a mistake by giving me bubble wrap. That's not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough goofing around. Let's put this fucking thing on. I gotta take off the 3M tape. So it's this little red stuff. I just gotta peel off the top layer of it. All right, boom, the roof spoiler is on. Let me know what you guys think. Coming up at number two, this is the kind of iffy performance mod, I guess you could put in the category. Um, it's also on the ballpark of the $100 limit, but uh, we have some test pipes. So if you wanna go catless and get yourself prepared for a tune, uh, Catless is the way to go if you want to shoot some flames like me. That's the way to go Obviously the tune is nowhere near the inside of the hundred dollar ballpark, but uh Yeah, so test pipes. I found some for $95 um, There's obviously some that go up to like $400 if you want art pipes for example those things are like six seven hundred dollars but um yeah, you can probably find some test pipes for cheap. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is always an option, or if you just wanna find some just random eBay ones. I mean, test pipes are test pipes, they don't really do anything different. Next up on the list, we have the LED dome lights. They add a really good modern look to your car. Instead of that like yellow-ish look, they'll be like that straight white color. And it just makes the car look more modern and fancy looking, in my opinion at least. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what they look like whenever it's dark outside. Ignore the fact that that's missing. Uh, my subs kind of are responsible for that. But uh, these are the little LEDs. They're very white and they're very bright and they light up the interior of the car a lot. Uh, as you can see, there are these little, these little bulbs right there. Coming up next in number four, we have Underglow. Obviously, Underglow is not everyone's taste of butter, but uh, I think it adds a cool look to a G35. Uh, especially on the stock bumper, it kind of goes through the grill, uh, the little two little mini grills on the stock bumper. I don't have the stock bumper anymore, but uh, even with my GT3 aftermarket bumper, it still looks really cool. Uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like at night. Uh, I found a link on Amazon. Uh, also, I'll leave a link to everything in the description if I can. Um, but uh, we have uh, this underglow is the one that I have right now. It's probably one of the best ones, to be honest, in my opinion. It's connected by Bluetooth. You can control it with your phone, all these colors and animations, all this fun stuff. I think it adds a cool look to the G35, especially at night. If you're going to a car meet, you can leave it on when you're parked up. It is now dark outside, and uh, this is what the underglow looks like. All right, coming up at number five, we got, I don't really know what you call these, to be honest, but they're like the, the little LED strips that go by your feet. Um, I got uh, this brand called Goovy. I think that's how you pronounce it, at least. Um, they connect with your phone. You can do different animations, different colors. They have music sync on them, which is pretty cool. All right, here are the interior lights. As you can see, there's little LED light strips that go right there. Um, and they just kind of light up the feet area of the car. It gives it a nice little vibe. And uh, they do music sync, they change colors and all that fun stuff. All right, coming up in number six, we have the front lip. It's a front lip for the stock bumper. Uh, it adds a really nice touch. Moving on. If we're still running the current stock rear bumper, a diffuser might be a fun little add-on to kind of give that aggressive look to your rear end. Uh, there's most of the diffusers are over $100, but I did find one that was under $100, and uh, it is on Amazon. It's uh, it's more of a kit, so it doesn't just kind of bolt on, kind of like the uh, like the front lip. All right, number eight on the list is gonna be some aftermarket side markers. Uh, there's tons of different ones you can buy. These ones I found on Amazon uh, were probably the best looking in my opinion. They have like a little strip of light that goes to the middle. They're blacked out, and they have like the kind of GTR style where they kind of like stick out just a little bit. So, uh, 
yeah, get yourself some side markers. Coming in at number nine, we have the carbon fiber mirror caps. I think these add a great look to the car. Uh, for me, especially since I have the carbon fiber ducktail trunk, um, I'm probably gonna get myself some soon, but uh, the carbon fiber mirror caps would add a nice look, kind of even out the carbon fiber from the rear end to the front end. Um, it just adds a nice look. Carbon fiber is just nice, you know? Like, you can't go wrong with carbon fiber. <laughs> Coming in at number 10, this is a very controversial mod, but we got a can of spray paint. Obviously, black is what I'm kind of going for here. Uh, if you wanna black out your grill, black out your mirrors like I did, for example, or if you wanna just black out your stock wheels like I ended up doing um, before I put these on, <laughs> um, or just, if you just wanna black out your emblems, if you wanna black out something, even like interior stuff, if you wanna black out the chrome piece around your radio, anything around that kind of jazz, um, black spray paint, or even plastic dip, it's like a spray on wrap, um, they all work good. So, a can of spray paint, I know it's not really a mod, but it's more of a, eh, it can work. <laughs> that is going to conclude today's video on top 10 affordable G35 mods under $100. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Thank you guys for the support recently. It has been amazing. We're going to be going hard in 2022, so make sure you stick around for the build. I'll see you guys next time.